During the American Civil War, on September 22, 1863, a four-hour siege took place in Sullivan County, Tennessee. Union Colonel John F. Foster and Confederate Colonel James E. Carter would face off against each other. Special Dialect Notation When speaking in an Appalachian dialect, depending on where you're from in the mountains, the town of Bluntville is sometimes called Bluntsville. The O-U sound is not pronounced like in the word house or house, and the O is silent. We will be using both pronunciations in this video as a nod to both sets of our fellow Appalachian people. Come along with us as we witness the toll that this siege took upon the little town of Bluntville. All aboard the Kentucky Tennessee Living Time Machine. Please fasten your seatbelts and keep your arms and legs inside of the vehicle at all times. Please do not attempt to remove the safety bar while the ride is in motion. But to get going, we need your help. We still need to fire up that time machine to transport us. Please help us by clicking on the like, subscribe, and bell notification buttons down below. Not only does this fire up the time machine, but it convinces the YouTube algorithm that we need a bigger time machine to reach more people who love history as much as you do. Now, back to our story. The Mission Confederate Colonel James E. Carter commanded 1,200 troops of the 1st Tennessee Cavalry and occupied the town of Bluntsville. They were in place there to help guard and keep control of the East Tennessee and Virginia Railroad. Major General Ambrose Burnside was given the command of the Department of the Ohio in March of 1863. He had orders to lead a Union expedition into East Tennessee that had three objectives. One objective was to clear all of the roads and gaps between Knoxville and Virginia with the capture of the salt works located in Saltville, Virginia. The second objective was to take control of the East Tennessee and Virginia Railroad. The third objective was to compel Confederate Major General Samuel Jones to withdraw from East Tennessee. Burnside gave orders to Union Colonel John W. Foster, who had command of a cavalry brigade, to move into position at the south bank of the Watuga River, then take control of Bluntsville, Tennessee. The Battle and Aftermath On September 22, 1863, Foster and his cavalry brigade crossed the Watuga River at 9 a.m. The Union troops drove off pickets from the Confederate cavalry to occupy Cemetery Hill. Around noon, Foster then began to fire artillery shells at Carter's position. These shells set fire to the courthouse and much of the town. Even though the Confederates were taking on heavy fire from the Federal side, they managed to delay the Union advance for four hours. At sundown, Foster then ordered a flanking charge of his brigade upon the Confederate position. Carter's regiment withdrew from town at that point towards what is now Bluff City towards Zollicofter. Skirmishes continued around the area at Bluntsville until news of the Battle of Chickamauga reached General Burnside. To protect Knoxville, General Henry Wagner Halleck ordered a retreat of troops back to the city. This battle would be considered a Union victory. The total casualties of this battle would be Federal forces would lose 27 men and the Confederate forces would lose 165 men. The Sullivan County Courthouse would be rebuilt in 1866. Thank you. We at Kentucky Tennessee Living would like to thank you for watching our video series on the Appalachian Civil War Battles. Don't forget to hit that like button, as the more likes we receive, the more likely YouTube is to suggest our videos to other viewers. Also, to receive notice when we upload a new video, be sure to subscribe and click the bell notification button. We thank you for continuing to support Kentucky Tennessee Living as we are discovering the mysteries in Appalachian history.